Unveiling the spine-chilling saga of China's groundbreaking $26 billion hydropower project that shocked the world. The world stood in disbelief as China announced its latest groundbreaking venture, a $26 billion hydropower project that promised to revolutionize the nation's energy landscape. But what followed next was beyond anyone's wildest imagination. The project not only shocked the world, but sent waves of controversy and fear rippling across the globe. In this episode, we'll uncover the truth behind this ambitious project and explore the staggering impact it had on the world. So buckle up and get ready for an exceptional journey that will leave you on the edge of your seat. China's engineers have embarked on an awe-inspiring endeavor, surpassing all previous records in human history by constructing mega dams at an unprecedented pace. Their unwavering commitment to harnessing renewable electric power has resulted in the creation of structures even more colossal than the renowned Hoover Dam. Standing tall at an astounding 221 meters, the Hoover Dam itself produces over 2,000 megawatts of electricity, yet it is dwarfed by the sheer magnitude of China's remarkable achievements. One landmark accomplishment took shape in 2008, when construction concluded on the world-famous Three Gorges Dam. Stretching over the mighty Yangtze River for an astonishing mile and a half, this colossal structure generates electricity on a scale 10 times greater than that of the Hoover Dam. However, China's latest revelation is set to redefine our perception of what is possible in the realm of hydroelectric power. A groundbreaking announcement emerged from Beijing in November 2020, unveiling China's ambitious plan to construct an extraordinary super hydropower dam in Tibet. This unprecedented project will find its home on the Brahmaputra River, downstream from India. Nestled within the foothills of the majestic Himalayas lies the ideal location for what promises to be the largest dam in the world. Its inception has been carefully incorporated into China's 14th five-year plan, a blueprint that eloquently outlines the nation's comprehensive social, economic, and developmental objectives. So, viewers, before proceeding further, have you ever thought about what would be the impact of building such huge-sized dams on China's economy? Wait, we will discuss these aspects too. Till then, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button stay tuned with for more interesting content. Now, let's continue. The plans for the 50-meter tall hydroelectric dam on the Great Bend of the Brahmaputra remain shrouded in mystery, concealed from public knowledge. According to reliable media sources, Power China, a Chinese state-owned enterprise, and the Tibet Autonomous Region Administration are the entities involved in its construction. This dam, once completed, is estimated to generate a staggering 60 gigawatt power annually. Remarkably, this amount is more than three times the power produced by the renowned Three Gorges Dam. Nevertheless, India's response to this proposed project is filled with apprehension as its leaders continue to voice deep concerns. In a bold move to counter China's immense undertaking, Delhi has announced its contemplation of constructing a 10 gigawatt dam to effectively manage water resources. The Yarlung Tsangpo, a significant international river, embarks on a remarkable journey spanning 2,900 kilometers through southern Tibet. Originating from the Qinghai Tibet Plateau in southwest China, it forges its path across the awe-inspiring Himalayas before entering India. Upon entering the subcontinent's southernmost state, it assumes the name Brahmaputra. The river's tributaries emerge from different regions, some originating in China and others in Bhutan. In a region plagued by rampant poverty, South Asia remains in dire need of progress. Consequently, all stakeholders are actively seeking ways to harness the immense potential of the Brahmaputra to propel their development agendas forward. Nonetheless, tensions between China and India persist as they grapple with the challenges of managing their shared water resources. The Brahmaputra River, coursing through the heart of China and India, holds immense importance for both nations' economies. With 30% of India's freshwater resources and 40% of its hydroelectric potential originating from this river, it is undeniably vital. China, although not heavily reliant on the Brahmaputra for freshwater supply, recognizes its significance in Tibet's agricultural, energy, and cultural sectors. As populations grow, the demand for water resources intensifies in both countries. So why is China constructing the Midung County Hydropower Project? 
Chinese officials assert that it is a crucial component of their green energy initiatives, promoting sustainable development in the Tibet Autonomous Region. By striving to achieve carbon neutrality by 2016, China aims to foster growth while minimizing environmental impact. Preserving this shared resource benefits both nations, enhancing economic prosperity and fostering a greener future. China's remarkable progress in harnessing the power of the Yarlung Changpo River is an undeniable testament to its commitment to clean energy and water security. With the construction of three major dams already underway, China is poised to achieve unprecedented results. The latest addition, surpassing its predecessors in size, has the astounding capacity to generate a staggering 60 gigawatts of power, surpassing even the mighty Three Gorges Dam. This means an estimated 300 billion koh of clean, renewable, zero-carbon power can be produced annually. Yan Zihong, the esteemed head of the Power Construction Corporation of China, asserts that this impressive feat will not only enable Beijing to meet its clean energy targets, but also bolster water security. The ongoing competition between China and India regarding water and growth, although historically a source of conflict and mistrust, may find resolution in these monumental strides towards sustainable development. China's controversial development of hydroelectric and water diversion projects on the Brahmaputra River's upper reaches has sparked a heated debate. By altering the river's flow and path, China has garnered attention and raised concerns. Astonishingly, China drains a substantial 22 to 30 percent of the basin, despite occupying only a portion of it. As the upstream land downer, China possesses the ability to influence the downstream water supply, while Beijing insists that the dam will solely generate hydroelectricity without diminishing river flow, New Delhi remains skeptical. In an effort to address these concerns, New Delhi has made attempts to establish oversight procedures for China's riparian operations and assert its prior use rights, but with little success. Regrettably, there is currently no established international forum for collaboration on this matter, leaving both countries with limited formalized communication. Moreover, the long-standing territorial conflict between China and India further complicates the situation. Both nations lay claim to the same areas in the eastern Himalayas, particularly in the region known as Arunachal Pradesh, which China refers to as South Tibet. With over a million people residing in this disputed territory, spanning approximately 89,000 square kilometers, the conflict has severely undermined mutual trust between the governments, particularly along their shared borders. With the construction of a dam of such magnitude, the potential consequences cannot be overlooked. The massive structure holds the power to impede the river's natural flow, causing an alarming accumulation of silt downstream. This, in turn, poses a significant threat to the agricultural conditions in the surrounding areas. The repercussions of building upstream dams are far-reaching and could detrimentally impact the regions below. Despite China's claim of implementing a run-of-the-river system for their hydroelectric project, Scientific experts caution that this may disrupt the downstream water flow during periods of dry spells. The concern is shared by India, especially during the monsoon season when floods ravage the northeastern provinces like Azam. In such circumstances, the release of water from the dam by China could prove catastrophic for the already saturated Assam region. It is essential to acknowledge that China possesses a distinct advantage due to its location upstream enabling the construction of dams and other infrastructure to manipulate the river's flow. Amid diplomatic impasses between the two countries, there is a genuine possibility of witnessing a drastic shift in the flow rate, exacerbating the situation further. During the critical monsoon months from May to October, China is obliged, through agreements with India, to exchange hydrological data regarding the river. This vital information primarily pertains to the water level, which serves as a crucial early warning system for potential floods in lower-lying areas. In 2017, a tense border standoff between India and China disrupted the flow of vital information regarding water quantities from China's dams. Although data cooperation was restored in 2018, there are reasons for India to suspect that China continues to withhold crucial information. Complicating matters further, the Himalayan region is susceptible to earthquakes and other seismic events due to its geographical location. Consequently, the people downstream face an imminent threat arising from the massive infrastructure projects in this area. The Himalayan region holds significant importance as it is home to a plethora of endangered plant and animal species found nowhere else on Earth.
Tragically, the delicate Himalayan ecology is already teetering on the brink of disaster due to the adverse impacts of climate change, resulting in the rapid melting of glaciers. Additionally, deforestation, soil erosion, and landslides compound the existing challenges. If both China and India proceed with their joint dam plans, this environmentally fragile region faces the looming specter of an ecological catastrophe. India has rightfully appealed to China, urging them to consider the interests of nations downstream and to counterbalance the detrimental effects caused by the Chinese dam. As part of its own initiatives, India is contemplating the construction of a 10GW hydropower project in the Debang Valley of Arunachal Pradesh. Lastly, when will the race for building such an enormous size of dams end between both countries? Let's have quick discussion in the comments box and stay connected with us for more amazing stuff coming ahead.